Well, hello there. Let me start by saying I am stoked to welcome you to class. One sec. Ta-da! My name is Lex, and I'll be here with you each step of the way as you become a Git pro. Throughout this class, you'll learn how to use Git and GitHub to track changes in your projects, work with teams, and connect with other tech professionals. You'll learn more about each topic, including GitHub, in future lessons. In this lesson, you'll learn about version control and Git. Ready? Let's jump in. To understand Git, you first need to know about version control. Version control is a system that keeps track of all the changes every contributor makes to one or more files, such as an HTML file. A basic example of version control is when you save multiple versions of a file as you work with others. Let's say you're writing an essay in a Microsoft Word document. You save each version of your work, like draft one, draft two, and final. As you're working, you have a friend review your work and they save their revisions in another file, like draft two, edits. Keeping each version of your essay safe and sound and your working file current is version control at its finest. Now, imagine that you're almost done with your final essay. Then your power goes out, your computer turns off, and your most recent version is lost. Yikes! With version control, you won't lose everything if your most recent file is deleted because you still have the previous versions of your work. Version control comes in handy in other instances, like if a file becomes corrupted or if your cat Muffin walks on your keyboard and deletes your work. Believe me, it has happened, hasn't it Muffin? Manually saving every version of your files can be a lot of work, and it becomes more difficult if you're working on a larger project, like a website with dozens of web pages and multiple teammates contributing. That's where Git comes in. Git is the most popular version control system for coding projects. When you use Git, it keeps a log of every version of each file you or anyone else work on. Instead of saving each version of a file, like draft one or draft two, you'll create a Git repository. A Git repository, or repo for short, is a folder Git creates to store current and past versions of your files. Your repo will automatically create a new version of your files for you whenever you save your changes to Git. Think of a repo as a filing cabinet full of folders labeled version 1.1, version 1.2, version 1.3, and so on. You and anyone else you provide access to can make changes to the files in your repo. Are you excited about Git? To get you extra amped, here are a few more ways Git will make your life easier. One, Git software is open source, meaning it's free for you to download and use. Two, Git makes it easy to work with the team because it prevents you from accidentally overwriting a colleague's work. And three, because Git is so popular, it's a must have skill that employers will expect you to have. Learning Git adds a powerful tool to your tech professional tool belt. In the rest of this lesson, you'll learn a bit more about version control, Git, and your class project. Ah, so exciting. Again, from all of us at Skill Crush, we're so darn excited to see you dominate this class. Click next to get going.